Hello everyone, my name is Chris and in this video we're talking about data types that Algorand Virtual Machine supports. Now there are four data types that the AVM supports. Int, bytes, any type, and none. Essentially, the stack engine supports int and bytes. Any type is used when a PyTL expression can return either int or bytes, and none is used when a PyTL expression doesn't push anything to the AVM. Therefore, all PyTL expressions must resolve to one of these four data types. The PyTL expression to make a UN64 type is int with a capital I, and the PyTL expression to make a byte type is bytes with a capital B in the front. PyTL also provides functions to convert between these two data types, and you can do so with the function i to b to convert from int to bytes, and b to i for the other way. Now let's take a quick look at this simple smart contract to see how you convert between ints and bytes. Here I have a simple router setup that defines what happens during creation for simplicity. And then we have a method called store in bytes that's going to take in an argument number that is a UN64 type. And I'm creating a global state and the key value with num in bytes. And I'm going to do i to b of the number argument that we get. Now remember, number is a UN64 type. But then when we do i to b on that, that is going to convert the UN64 to a byte string. And then down here, we have another method called read in int. And this is going to output a UN64 value. And I'm setting the output to the value that we get from the global state by doing global get and the key value of num in bytes. And then I'm doing a b to i on that because the global state is currently recorded in byte array. So I'm taking that byte and then converting it into int and then assigning that int to the output to return. And down here I have the same code that is going to compile the smart contract and write out the artifacts in the file system. I'm going to open up my terminal and run this file. Now let's head over to that flow to deploy and call this smart contract. Here make sure you're connected to sandbox by clicking sandbox and save. And then connect your dev wallet. Go to API Studio and let's import in the API file. Go to the data types folder, go into artifacts and import in contract.json file. Then we can create this application. But remember that we are storing that int value as bytes. So we have to set global bytes equal to one because we're gonna have one global byte state. And the rest I'm going to set as zero. Now upload your approval and upload your clear. And create it. Now let's call this method store in bytes and let's pass in one, two, three. And execute that. You can see that the method executed successfully. Now let's read the global state in ints. And if I execute this, you can see that the value returned one, two, three, and the type is UN64. Now what happened there was if you quickly go back to our code, we stored this number value, which is a UN64 type, as bytes by doing i to b. That's why the global schema had to have one global byte state. But then when we were reading that global state, we were doing b to i. So we were converting that byte value to ints before we were returning that. So that's how you would use i to b and b to i to convert between bytes and ints. Now it seems pretty limited that you can only work with ints and bytes, right? Well, don't worry. In the next video, we're going to cover ABI types, which includes more types like strings, arrays, booleans, and even reference and transaction types that lets you work with account and transaction details. Now let's move on to the next video and see what that's all about.